Nancy Pelosi claims on camera that you orchestrated a, quote, setup to entrap her into getting her hair blown out without a mask. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. I think that they owe, uh, that this salon owes me an apology. She says she understood that the restrictions allowed a one-on-one -on -one appointment in salons. What do you make of that? As a hairstylist, I see clients one-on-one. -on -one, so that would mean I would be open. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, yes, pardon, start, sorry to laugh. Yes, that, it would mean sorry, that. Are, yes. you, are you open? No. If the salon is saying that we're able to do this, but, and they're not, then they should not have said that, and they should not have been open for me to go there. I just thought about, you know, my staff and people not being able to work and make money and provide for their families, and if she's in there comfortably without a mask and feeling safe, then why are we shut down? Why am I not able to have clients come in? Fox News has learned House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited a San Francisco hair salon yesterday for a wash and blowout, despite local ordinances keeping salons closed amid the coronavirus pandemic. Security footage obtained by Fox News, time stamped Monday 3.08 p.m. Pacific, shows Pelosi walking through E Salon in San Francisco with wet hair and without a mask over her mouth or nose. She was almost alone because due to coronavirus regulations, salons in San Francisco are closed for indoor services. Nancy Pelosi went inside. She can do that because she is the Speaker of the House, third in line for the presidency. You cannot because you don't have as much power as Nancy Pelosi has. What further evidence does anyone need that this president didn't care less about the spread of this virus than to see what he did, vandalizing, by the way, uh, the White House by bringing all those people there, no masks, no distancing, and the rest. He slapped science right in the face. The president should be example. You know, real men wear masks. Be, be an example to the country uh, and wear the mask. Not only to, it's not about protecting yourself, it's about protecting others. It does matter. And that's why I would hope that the president and the vice president all would wear a mask. Uh, they don't wear a mask, why not? Other people should, so they should set an example. Defying directives laid out by the state, owner Jacob Lewis reopened his gym in San Bernardino County, California last week. Some gym goers are wearing masks, others are not. And Lewis says he's fine with it. I'm big on the Constitution. So if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't, don't. If you want to come in, great, use it. If you don't want to come in, stay home. Not far away in Norco, the family-owned original Pancake House just reopened its dining room to customers. A decision the owners say they made to help their 30 employees keep food on their own tables. Today, a customer tipped $100 on a $29 meal and wrote this on the receipt. Thanks for making this feel like America again. Hi, welcome to Beauty Bar. How are you? Yes, Arlika you Hernandez so next Saturday. and her beauty bar are open for business. What can we do for you today? This is a haircut. For the first time in more than a month. And seeing like light come through my business was, it was overwhelming, it was joyous, and I, I felt empowered. Even though she's not really supposed to be. I feel that my freedom and liberty and the opportunity I have to make my own way is being threatened, and I can't believe it's happening in this nation. Rebecca says she's built barriers at the checkout stand, torn down walls, and added arrows on the floor to comply with social distancing. I cannot survive unless I start to open. So she's taking her chances. I don't want anyone in here that doesn't want to be here. She believes shopping here is much safer than at a box store. Because the governor has said box stores are where you can go to, even though there's 200 or 300 people you have to go shop with. What I'm hearing back is, how dare I open my business and spread this disease? Well,